What's up guys, gals, fellers, and fellettes? Out here in my bike room, as you can see, got the uh, Schwinn Danger Ranger on the repair stand today. I uh, did get the front forks and handlebars swapped over, as you can probably tell. If, I don't know if you noticed or not, this is the front end that basically out of the Schwinn. It's all stripped down except for the seat post over there. I gotta take that out now. Slide that one into there, get the engine on, and uh, see if we can get her to fire up. But first, I gotta swap out this back tire and uh, put a you know the sprocket on it for the uh, motorized bike. So stick around. set I'll be using for this bike well at least the uh, rear anyway the front tire I'll be keeping as a reserve are on this uh, one of James's frames I've got storing over here for him but um, so I'm going to go ahead and take this back wheel off and get the uh, sprocket on it and get the bearings greased in it got to grease and check them bearings fellas and fellas because they'll lock up and ruin your frame anyway Okay, this is a rear wheel that I'll be using on this bike. Um, it is a Schwinn rim and tire actually. Check them out. White leather Schwinn right there. She says fellers and fellettes. Anyways, uh, uh, no, I believe that's a sun rim. Yeah, it's a good rim. So what we're going to do, not missing a single tooth either. She got all of her teeth. And uh, we're going to open this up. I can kind of fill that tell that feels a little dry to me. I'm gonna open that up, squirt some juice, squirt it full of grease juice and uh, put her back, tighten her back down. And then we'll get the sprocket off. So Get my grease guys, squirt some grease down in there. Yeah, if you ever wonder how much grease put in there, just go ahead and put all of it in there. Oh yeah, see it should spin nice and easy like that off of just a little push. Okay, now I gotta get my 36 2 sprocket off, the old locked up rim, and get it swapped over to this hub, which looks like some perfect diameter for it too. Don't have to worry about no flopping up and down. This is the one that see. Oh yeah, that ain't moving a bit. That's locked up solid. I'm surprised there is. Guys, no, we need 10 millimeter ratchet. I'm gonna go get my uh, bzz, bzz gun, make it a little quicker and easier. So I will be right back. All right, let's get this sprocket swapped over to the new ram off of this locked up wheel. Where is 
split. There we go. In with the new. A lot of fellas don't like these rag joints, as they call them in the bike world, but you know, as long as you keep them tight, the bolts tight, you don't have a problem out of them. I haven't. I mean, you're going to twist and stretch on spokes whether you have a, a hub sprocket or not. That hub is still, con you know, the hub is the spokes are what's connected to the hub here, fellas and fellas. How is that not going to torque on your spokes? No matter how you connect that sprocket to your spokes, it's going to torque on them. So, tried and true way, here you go. No slippage like you get from some of those adapters. Okay, and here we are on the uh, second day on this project. And I've got the the, uh, the sprocket on for the gas side of the engine or gas side of the bike all nine bolts nice and flat not jumping up and down on me I did have to shim it up a little bit with some zip ties as you'll see sticking in there a little bit I don't know I guess you can see it I ain't see it but anyways they're there they won't hurt none so anywho here we go on with the build Project looks to be running true. Boy, those are good bearings, guys. Look at that. Them bearings are greased pretty good. Set really good. No side to side flop going on. So, starting to look like a bike now, guys. Pretty good looking bike, I think. Oh, the sun's kind of messing with my lighting a little bit. Let's get that C post off of there. Make it look right. Looks to be a bigger timber size C post because now we gotta swap this crap around. Okay, now let's try it. Now, let's figure out what controls we want and what we don't want on this bike. So we know we want a throttle cable, so that's staying. I don't know, I think it will get rid of the gears. I've never used them on a motorized bike. I don't really have much use for them on a motorized bike. So this is what we got so far. She's starting to shape, shape and ship up. Oh yeah. The Schwinn Rain Danger Ranger coming to life. So I want to get rid of some of these uh, these extra pieces right here. I don't need these. Um, take them off every one of my motorized bikes so far. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those. I was going to clean this motor up, but you know what? Nah.
about, it's a little bit unlevel, uneven, flat, whatever you want to call it, but uh, we're fine on a red one, so I'm going to assume it will be okay on this one. So we're kind of trying to channel line we got going on here. Well, it seems a lot, the uh, red frame is just a little bit longer than this one. The chain is about, oh, let's see here. This much too short, probably three links. So I'm gonna dig them out, see if I can find some links. I'm sure I can somewhere. But I wanna go ahead and uh, wrap this video up for today as my part two of the swing swap here. I'm gonna have to get ready to go for work here in a little bit, so get rested up, get to be old fellers and fellettes. So thanks for joining me for this second part of the swing swap. Part three, we should have this thing going on now. I mean, we should have her, you know, brapping as they call it down the road. So uh, yeah, she's starting to start to come around. I'm liking the way it looks. So uh, if you would, please drop that like button, hit, and uh, subscribe, poke that subscribe if you haven't already done that. And we will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.